y'all. It's God Tank back at you once again. I'm going to teach y'all today uh, a little something. My momo taught me, my mother-in-law, how to make homemade chili. Chili. Salsa. Whatever you want to call it. But what I got here are some uh, serrano peppers that I de-seeded. And then I got some jalapenos also that I de-seeded. I got a whole clove and a half probably of garlic. And I also got, um, let's see, five tomatoes over here, small tomatoes. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the broiler on high. And I'm gonna cook these for like 20 minutes until they blacken. I'm gonna spin them around a little bit and uh, see what's up. So I had all these peppers and everything. I got onions. Got a big chopped onion. What do you think I should add another onion? What do you think? Yeah. That. No, that's enough. That's enough. Okay, here we go. Now, a little trick too. Put a little olive oil on it to make it a little virgin olive oil. Yeah. And then we're gonna mix that around. A little bit of salt. I'm big red. I made this salt shaker. A little bit of salt. Pepper on there. Yeah. I'm going to mix it up a little bit. Coat it with that oil, that olive oil. Make sure them, them tomatoes are on top so they get nice and sweet. I'm gonna put this in the oven. Let that broil on high. All right, y'all. What's going on? I just pulled this out of the oven. As you can tell, I've been turning these tomatoes a little bit, got them all black a little bit. And peppers and onions. Garlic. So I'm gonna let this rest a little bit and cool down. Move it over to the blender and start making some salsa, y'all. Stay tuned. Okay, y'all. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of these tomatoes. I can only do a little bit at a time. So I don't have. Do a little bit of time because it's kind of hot still. Come here. Then. Do it just like that. You gotta be careful taking this off because. Pour this back in the pan. Just grab everything else. Keep doing it. So I'll get back with y'all after I do all this. All right, y'all. Here we go. Now, I got some cilantro here also, and uh, I'm gonna rough chop this.
special ingredient. I have this. Right on my phone. Mm -hmm. Yes, I can. It's better to do this with a big blender, but of course, I ain't got one right now. Throw all this in there. it on the stove for about five minutes. Let's get a season of taste, put a little salt on there. And that's homemade salsa, y'all. Ready to chip it up. I'll show y'all what it's about when after we get done. Peace. All right, y'all, last, I got some limes here. We're gonna juice these. Over the chili. Yeah. What's going on? Give it the tang and zip. Hey y'all, what's up? It's your boy God Tank coming back at you once again. Hopefully in good health. For everybody out there is in good health. And I hope everybody's um taking care of one another and watching watching over one another. And God bless everybody out there. And I wish nothing but health and happiness so we can get through this pandemic together and come out even stronger after it's all over with, y'all. So I just want to wish everybody much love and God bless everybody. Got a few things right here I want to show off today. That my boy uh, Carolina Chris two six sent me. Uh, he I won this in one of the giveaways he gave away um, recently. I was happy to get this spawn number one finally. Thanks a lot, Carolina Chris two six man, my homeboy. 
my uh, brother from another kitchen, as we like to call each other. Always making that good food and everything. Got me to doing the same thing. So pretty soon we're going to do a collab together live online for y'all. Make y'all drool. So uh, here we go. I got that spawn number one. Straight up Fyra, as y'all well know. Fyra all day. Love that green, that red, that purple. Just popping, y'all. Most definitely dope. Love that. Put that back there. Next up, I got this uh, G.I. Joe, number 26. This looks like it's uh, the origin of Snake Eyes, it looks like. I believe he said it was. And you got Striker right there and uh, the mask off of Storm Shadow right there. So that's pretty dope. You know, the ninja. So Stalker was one of my favorites growing up. One of my first action figures I had. But what a dope comic, man. I love that. Most definitely. Next up, I got that Aquaman. Love this cover. I already had this one, but I'm glad I got another one because I'm going to give it to my daughter probably because she's about this pregnant right now. <laughs> she's about to have a baby in about another month and a half. I'm going to be a grandfather for the first time, so I'm really excited about that. going to be a little boy. Since I had nothing but girls, I get to finally get to have a little boy, so this comic means a lot to me. Love that one a lot. Next up, he gave me this... Uh, DC Year of the Villain. It says 25 cent here at the I've never seen that before. That might explain that one. I'm not sure, but it's a variant cover. Year of the Villain. Got uh Cheetah. I'm not sure what a Cheetah Girl. Chitara? I don't know what her name is. But very cool art germ cover. Sweet man. Straight up fiber right there, y'all. Next up is a this is the second issue or second printing of uh, Far Sector, which I'm really enjoying. If y'all aren't on this, y'all need to really check this out. It's an awesome story. This is probably my favorite uh, Green Lantern right here. She is awesome. That's by Jamal Campbell. The art is, I believe, it's awesome artwork. Take you away. Um, it's amazing by Young Animal, DC Young Animal. Very awesome story highly suggest that he also threw in this spider woman uh hear that little little uh print looks like that's awesome looking i like that i do have a couple of these so i might be giving this away in my giveaway i have another one i'm keeping this one though chris gave this to me but this one right here uh next up i got this one from my comic shop right before they closed down uh little bit of that 12 cent silver age goodness batman number 195 uh i saw biggie had this one time and uh, i just love the colors i told him i really liked it it was fire up because the you know i like purple and the and the green and everything dude and the batman in the back it's awesome i love that so real happy to have that one and next up i got this bitter root i got this uh, this is the second printing, actually. This isn't the first, but this is the second. And um, I got this off eBay. And uh, if y'all want, to, if y'all are interested, let me know on Instagram, and I'll pop y'all the link or whatever. So uh, awesome cover, though. Little do the right thing homage cover. You know, Spike Lee joint type stuff. Pretty dope. Really enjoying this. Bitterroot's awesome. Nice cover though. Mylar are always popping. And this right here, uh, I won for, from Mad Mike's Comics. He was doing a giveaway. And I uh, won this. This right here is a, uh, I want to get this guy's name right. Ch uh, Chin Potter, I believe. Drawing. Uh, sketch for daredevil look how freaking tight this is y'all i believe this guy came on economics and comics if i'm not mistaken so shout out to them chin potter man most definitely dopeness straight up fiber my dude straight up fiber i'm loving that y'all what a dope cover straight up sickness love having that man my collection for sure 
All right. And then also I wanted to show y'all before I uh, let y'all go some covers. Oh, oh, wait. Hold on. One more. I got this Angel and Spike. I meant to show y'all this one. This is the new uh, Angel and Spike number 10. This looks like a connecting cover, so I can't wait till we start shipping comics out again so I can get the other uh, comics to go with this set. But this is some Fyra, of course. You got Spike, Angel right there. You got some Vampires. Uh, Buffy, most definitely. Buffy the Vampire Slayer type stuff. This all connects together. Digging this story all day long. Love it. Shout out to my boy Jigs. He finally getting into it. Hoping he's, hoping he's liking it. And these are some covers that I did uh, for my comic shop. Shout out to Gotham Newsstand right here. San Antonio, Texas. I'm doing some covers for them a little bit to uh, help them out. They're helping me out too. Shout out to them. Much love. Their web store is open. eBay store is too. Gotham newsstand check them out on ebay but uh it'll be selling some of these covers right here that i have i'm gonna send them to them here pretty soon you got this uh that's a exo man of war i also got this great batman's grave i did some of y'all might have seen these in some of the pictures i've done or if you follow me on instagram you've seen these before but i just wanted to sh show them to whoever's not following me on instagram but if you're not please follow me man one god tank on Instagram, I did this uh, Poe po Dameron, aka Pooh Dameron. <laughs> Little Star Wars action, Disney, you know how it is. Okay, last up, one of my favorites is this Amazing Mary Jane. Check that out. I love this one, man. Come out real nice. Straight up fire flame. Word. Well, I really appreciate y'all, you know, liking my videos, subscribing, and uh, checking me out on Instagram. I'll, just, I'll show y'all this, a little something. How about a little spawnage? A dope spawn cover, real quick. Make this a little 10 minute video. Check it out, y'all. Check out that spawn. 306, Todd McFarlane cover. Straight up Fyra. Sorry, Todd, I want to show my stuff off. Yeah. But anyway, once again, much love to everybody. I hope everybody's doing good out there. You got family and friends. You know, pray for them. Let's, let's get through this together, y'all, through this pandemic. I just want to say much love and God bless once again, y'all. All y'all are in my prayers. Peace.